We have an update to a story we told you about earlier this week out of Georgia. According to the Daily Beast, Senate candidate Herschel Walker paid for a woman to have an abortion. And while Walker maintains that he doesn't know the woman making these claims, new reporting from the Daily Beast alleges that the woman involved is the mother of one of his own children. So according to the Daily Beast reporting, the woman wanted to remain anonymous, and while she says she's been a good sport after Walker's denial, she could no longer keep this information from the public. Herschel Walker and his campaign have denied the claims. They released a statement saying, quote, as I have already said, there is no truth to this or any other Daily Beast report. Herschel Walker apparently has record fundraising off of this news, despite what many people thought was going to be a damning moment to his campaign. And of course, the relationship between fundraising and what voters actually think is not a one-to-one. -one. We saw, for example, in the 2020 primary, Michael Bloomberg spend more money than God on a race and not get very far, except for, I don't know, I think Guam and Guam. So, uh, and other people have pointed out that at this stage in the uh, race, you're let, you're, you often see a spike in fundraising, so it's not clear what the causation is there. But many folks have pointed out that while obviously Democratic candidates are pro-choice, Herschel Walker is being called out for his hypocrisy here insofar as he has been touting himself as a family values person, right. as someone who is opposed to the right to choose when he seems to have different rules for himself. What do you make of it? Yeah, look, you can obviously have been okay with abortion or support abortion and then change your mind about it, but like there's a lot more going on here um, you know, that would tarnish a kind of family man image. Uh, 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 Christian Walker, his son, who you know I don't think is trying to sabotage his campaign out of malice because he was supportive of it and, mm -hmm. and it ha is an outspoken conservative. Mm -hmm. um, you know, th there could be more going on there, obviously, but but he has really turned on and denounced his father for uh, for alleged abuse that he suffered. Um, he talks about how him and his mother had to move multiple times. Mm -hmm. He alludes to some kind of potential physical abuse mm -hmm. or verbal abuse. So, I, I, yeah, I, I think it, you know, it, it would be hard to, I think you can't like hand wave this away or say, well, it was a long time ago or well, it was like there's just too much to it. Now, conservatives, I've seen many of them uh, kind of responding to this and saying, well, look, you know, I may not approve or whatever, but, um, but I want to limit abortion, and he would vote to limit abortion, or I trust him to, limit, to vote to limit abortion, and his opponent will not, so I'm going to vote for him. Which, uh, you know, I, I, maybe we're just all admitting now, like, if you're an R, you're an R. If you're a D, you're a D. These people are pretty indistinguishable and are pretty down party lines, right? I mean, yeah. John Fetterman could, we don't know what his health situation is. It could be much worse than it is. It could be, he could be barely able to function, yeah. right? And Democrats are going to vote for him because he's a D. Yeah. Dianne Feinstein is well beyond the ability to have any, to communicate thoughtfully about legislation. Why We don't really know what's going on, but she seems very much out of it. But she's a D. And that's yeah. just, we're just all being transparent yeah. and transactional now. If it, you're a D, you want a D. If you're an R, you want an R. And it yeah. doesn't, nothing else really matters. I mean, the real question here is what happened in the primary? What and I, I yeah, now that's where the left as yeah, well. That's you know, where you know the, the the actual left of the Democratic Party or people who don't even identify as Democrats anymore are very frustrated. The Democratic Party seems to be more invested in preventing progressives from getting on the ballot, people who mm -hmm. actually are populist from getting on the ballot, uh, than they are protecting the likes of the Diane Feinsteins who shuffle their way through these terms way past the age that anybody thinks they can actually be effective. Um, but let's also look at a clip we have here of Herschel Walker being asked to respond directly to this uh, controversy, including some of the statements from his own son. Your son surprised a lot of us uh, because he's been tweeted uh, positive things for you. He's an influencer, a conservative. Uh, and this is what he came out and said after this revelation and your appearance with Sean. Listen. My intention is don't lie about your life at the expense of me, my mom, and all of the people that you've affected throughout your life. You don't get to pretend you're some moral family guy. You don't get to pretend all these things. Talk policy, talk normal, do not lie. So he saw that and says, you're lying, Herschel. What do you say about your son? Is he telling the truth? Well, I love my son unconditionally, and I, that's the way I've always been. I always love him unconditionally. You know, he graduated college uh, a couple of months ago. He's now a young man doing his own thing, but his father is always there for him. I always will be for any, any of my kids, and I love him. I always support him, and I always have supported him, and I always will, and I love him unconditionally. 
That's pretty typical of the kind of response he's given so far. He was confronted also about the, um, there's a signed get well card that he allegedly gave to the woman who got an abortion. Uh, he denied, you know, he said, I, I sent a lot of cards to a lot of people who knows what's really going on here. His son has been tweeting nonstop for the last few days. Uh, he tweeted, every family member of Herschel Walker asked him not to run for office because we all knew some of his past, every single one. He decided to give us the middle finger and air out all of his dirty laundry in public while simultaneously lying about it. I'm done. And I'm done, I think, really reflects the fact that um, Christian was defend, you know, defended and supported his father up until this point. It's hard to kind of argue that he is ideologically opposed in terms of like broader conservative right. politics or anything like that. I think the tipping point really was his feeling that he was being thrown under the bus in some way by uh, Herschel's, Herschel Walker's denial of some of his relationships with these women. Yeah. And look, you know, this is it, 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 this is uncomfortable. I, I don't think anyone, I certainly don't relish, I'm, probably there are people in the media who do relish this, ooh, a scandal, ooh, yeah. sex related, ooh, like how fun to talk about. Um, I feel bad for people because families are messy and relationships are messy and I, I would, I th it, it sucks to have this like litigated and discussed in front of the national media for every like drama between a son and a father, et cetera. Uh, but I mean, the reality is he chose to run for Senate. He could have and should have anticipated with a significant, uh, so many significant mm -hmm. things like this that it would be that it would be scrutinized. I think uh, Christian Walker. I think at one point mentioned that like we didn't want you to run because we were afraid of having this stuff kind of made public. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously that can be taken too far because. You know, I mean, this new thing where, like, if you've ever said or done anything wrong in your whole life, you're going to be, like, disqualified from having right, office. Right, but this is a little bit no, different. No, this is more than that. It's not it's just, like, a bad tweet when you were 13 abuse, or something. Allegations of domestic abuse, it's rank hypocrisy. Yeah. And I do think the discomfort is coming through when you see some of the va family values conservatives, like Ben Shapiro. He tweeted out, it is so very telling that the supposedly horrible thing, supposedly horrible thing that Herschel Walker did, according to the media, was support the pro-life position, uh, not knock up a woman and pay for her abortion, because if you were pro-choice, this would not be a story. And obviously, to me, that says, no, the problem for the liberals is hypocrisy, not that an abortion was paid for, but the fact that he would want to deny everybody else right. in the country those same kinds of And, re and really, the, the more, whatever the alleged kind of vi or violent or abusive accusations oh, are, which I do not know the truth yeah. of, to be clear, that is actually a more, much more serious issue. Yeah. But um, we will regrettably continue to follow this if there are more updates and have more rising right after this.